Welcome back to the Olympic Park. Now, he's only 19 and he's won his country, Grenada, their only ever gold medal. Kirani James wowed the stadium on Monday night by running the 400 metres in under 44 seconds, the only non-American athlete to ever break that barrier. Nicknamed the Jaguar, he grew up in poverty on the small Caribbean island of just 100,000 people. Kamian Zerum went to meet him. Every few years, a new sporting talent emerges who wows the world. Kirani James is that talent, just 19 years old, winning the Olympic 400 metres with a maturity way beyond his years. <laughs> Sending the tiny island he calls home into rapture, Grenada's first ever Olympic gold. When you have people that admire you and admire what you do you know, for a living, I mean, it's, it's, it's really humbling. You know, because these people look out for you, you know, day in and day out, you know, put your performances and they really look out for you to just go out there and try to do your best. Humble, a word many are using about Kirani James, showing his gold medal almost with apology. After he cruised through his heat to the final, asking the blade runner, Oscar Pistorius, for a personal memento, the first amputee to run in an Olympic Games, and James wanted to swap name tags. Oscar is an inspiration for, for us all, you know, um, athletes, non-athletes, amputees. He's a guy I uh, have a lot of respect for because, you know, just going out there and competing with us, I mean, it's an inspiration for all of us. And, you know, it's an honor for me to just to, you know, be in a race with him. Many athletes have inspired over the years. Take Michael Johnson, who still owns the 400 meters world record, a time he didn't set till he was 32. Then along came a teenager called Kirani James, who, it said, could one day break that record. And watch him race, that's him in green out front, and you can just about notice something even more remarkable. His left foot, it splays out to the side, should slow him down, even cause him injury. But it doesn't. He's getting faster. Last year, he became world champion. This year, Olympic champion a 19-year-old who says he runs for the other lads he used to play with back in Grenada. I've seen a lot of, you know, guys a lot more talented than me, but, you know, they just um, didn't have the, the determination and, and the confidence to move forward. So, I mean, um, you know, one of my job is to, you know, not let that happen again in my country. You know, just, you know, keep on inspiring the kids um, to be whatever they want to be, the best they can be. Kirani James from Grenada. Now, Royal Mail has been criticised over plans to celebrate Britain's winning Paralympians differently from Olympic gold medalists. During the Olympic Games, Royal Mail is issuing a stamp with the image of each British gold medalist in action. The stamps are available within a day and the local post box of each athlete is painted gold. But for next month's Paralympics, gold medalists will not get a stamp each. Instead, a series of six stamps will be issued to cover them all after the Games. While well, the decision has been criticised by Paralympic commentators. I come from it from the point of view of being like the world's greatest Paralympics fan. I just want to celebrate the games like Olympics fans want to celebrate the games. And when my heroes win a medal, I, I want to see that celebrated in the same way. Well, earlier I was joined by Tim Cowan from Royal Mail. Why are you not treating the Paralympians the same way you're treating the Olympians? I think we're doing a great deal to celebrate the, uh, the Paralympic Games. We're doing more than any other postal administration ever has to do. To, why aren't to you do treating the them like Olympians? We are treating them like Olympians. Every single no, Paralympics, not. every sim single Paralympic GB gold medalist will be featured on a Royal Mail stamp, which will be available after the Games. We're also making a donation to the British Paralympic Association, which will be shared equally with, between all the gold medalists. And the British Paralympic Association themselves have, have gone on record and say they're very pleased with what they've done. All, all of which is great, but you are yes. going to do 22 individual stamps for the 22 gold medal winners in the Olympics. And you're going to bunch the Paralympic winners all together into a handful of stamps. That is not treating them the same. That is uh, that is correct, but the challenge we've so got... why? Well, the challenge we've got is simply logistics. Paralympic GB are so successful, or we expect them to be so successful, they'll just get so many gold medals that we won't be able to do an individual stamp. But if you can one. do 22, why can't you do 45? Well, I have to say, we've never done 22 before, and uh, the, logis you are doing the logistics of that have just about stretched us to the limit. We reckon the maximum we can do on any one day is six. On Super Saturday, we got six gold medals, and we just about managed to do that. Uh, during the Paralympics, we may be looking at something like 48 to 50 gold medals over a 10-day period. You know, I'm so sure they wouldn't 10 mind gold medals a if day. there was a little bit of a delay in their stamp coming out. 
Are, are you saying this is definitely not going to change? Well, this is not under review? You, you say I'm sure they wouldn't mind. What I do know is that the British Paralympic Association, with whom we've made this arrangement, are very, very pleased with them as well. And when we announced this six weeks ago, and we tried to tell the media about it this time, certainly the message we got then was that everybody was very happy. The Olympics has sort of taken everyone by surprise in the scale uh, and the impact. And, and perhaps this one has just been a little misjudged. Are you saying there is no question of reviewing this? Well, I don't believe there's any need to review it right now. I think the BP are very happy. I think the Paralympians, when they see what we do, will be delighted. And I think we're very pleased to be able to support the Paralympic Association as well.